Hello friends and welcome to Edivedia World Videos. This is the course Linux Operating Systems Basics with Vagish Kumar and in this particular video we will be learning about the unique command of Linux. So till now we have covered various other commands of Linux and you can watch other videos of this particular course to see and learn all those commands. Okay, we have also covered how to install Linux and all the prerequisites that you need to install Linux. We have covered the basics of Linux operating system. We have also covered how to install a virtual machine software on your system and use it to create a Linux virtual machine. Okay, so in this particular video, we'll be learning about the unique command. So let us go forward with that. First of all, what is unique used for? Well, as its name suggests, although the spelling does not match the word unique, okay, the spelling in the case of unique command is UNIQ. And, okay, so as its name suggests, the unique command will print only unique lines from a sorted file or sorted input. So what does this mean? That sorted file or sorted input? Well, well, we have done the sort command in a video prior to this one. So sort command actually sorts the values inside a file in an alphabetical order or a numeric order, okay, as you specify. So you need a sorted input to this file and from that sorted input it will print only the unique lines out. okay so why you need a sorted input because it will actually first count that okay this particular line occurs multiple times or not but it will count only consecutive lines if suppose a number 100 occurs there inside a file consecutively okay in two lines so it will then it will trim out one occurrence of number 100 from that but if it is 100 then there is some other number 200 then there is 100 again in that case it will not perform its operation in that case it will not find out the unique numbers out, for, uh, out from that file so first you should sort that file using the sort command and then you should use the unique command to print out the unique from inside that file okay it has various options versus hyphen C so it will give you the count so it will prefix all the lines by the count of occurrences in which those particular numbers occur numbers or words whatever it can be okay. so then there is hyphen D which will print only the duplicate lines so it will not print any line which occurs only once it will print only those lines which are duplicated then there is hyphen I which is ignore case so it will ignore the case capital letter and small letters will be dealt as same then there is hyphen s which is skip character so it will avoid comparing the first n characters inside the file and it will work for the rest of the characters so it will be more clear when we will do it in practical way so let us switch to our practical screen which is the shell prompt linux command prompt which is we have logged in using the uh, SSH client putty okay so okay so let us now use this particular file which is which I have already created unique test.txt first I am cat using cat command to display this file on the screen so this contains a few words inside this particular file okay now suppose I use unique and straight away give this particular file so it will not give me the desired output because the word apple is not consecutively occurring twice so let me do one thing for our better understanding Wait. what I'll do is I'll add this word apple I'll add this word apple once consecutively inside this file so that will remove those duplicates so inside here over here what I will do is I will add one more occurrence or two more occurrences rather of the word apple so now I will exit this file saving changes okay so this was the nano editor that I used to open this file read it and edit it so nano editor also we have covered in one of the tutorials 
Okay. So now let us see this file. So the word apple occurs more than once consecutively. So in this case, if we use unique command, it will trim out the multiple occurrences of word apple, which are multiple consecutive occurrence. Okay, it will not trim out other multiple occurrences, only trim out the consecutive occurrences. So now if I want to trim out all the multiple occurrences, what is the option? So the option is that I have to use a sorted version of this file. So that is a very simple thing to do inside Linux because Linux gives you the power to do all these things in its command lines. So there is a tool that we have already done in our previous video that is sort. What does sort do? It will sort the file in an alphabetical order. So all done. So all the words are actually sorted as per alphabetical order. So now all the similar words occur consecutively. So this will help me to find out unique. So now what I will do is I will use a pipe as a redirection operator which will redirect the output of my first command on the left hand side to the input of my second command which is on the right hand side of the pipe operator. When I do this, unique will actually trim out all the consecutive duplicates from this particular file. Now there is one option which is unique hyphen C which will also tell me the count of number of times this particular field was duplicated in this file. So apple was four times. Okay, that is why it has given four over here. Then bed was only one time which was the unique value. It was not multiple times. Book was also one time and all the other were two times. So that is what it has printed. Now there is one more option which is hyphen D which will give me only the those values which are actually duplicated, which are actually duplicate in this file. So it will not give me the uh, bed and the word book in the output because they occur only once. Okay, so if we use unique hyphen D to our original file, okay, so we cat our original file and use unique hyphen D in that, then it will give me only one word which is to apple because only apple occurs multiple times consecutively in that file. If we actually see that file, all the other words occur multiple times but they do not occur consecutively multiple times so only apple is the word which occur consecutively multiple times in that file so that is why unique hyphen d in that particular output gives me only one word which is apple okay so hyphen i is used for ignore case so you can check that also and hyphen s is used to skip cars so if i create one more file i will name it as u and q test.txt okay now in this particular file what I do is I'll create one file in which I have first three different characters and then the characters are same in these options and then you can have some other things Okay, so now, but sorry, I'll save this file. Yes, okay. Now, if you print this file on the screen, you can see that I have created this particular file in which the string 44444 four, 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 five times occurs multiple times in the last five characters of a number of lines. So, if I use <coughs> unique and skip hyphen s three characters what it will do is it will from the consecutive occurrences of five times four it will skip one occurrence so it has in this case it has skipped the this occurrence which has x y r and then five times four because this in this case it was consecutive times and it has skipped the first three characters so it is not comparing the first three characters so if I use hyphen S3, it will skip the first three characters and then work its way forward. So that is how you can use unique if you want to find just unique in the last 
a few last number of characters inside the lines okay so i hope that this particular video of, of how to use the unique command was clear to you and continue to watch the course linux operating systems basics thank you